Hello and welcome back to my channel, Demonic Divine Flames. I'm Adara Bellamore and um, today's video um, is going to be again about Incubus and Succubus beings. Um, we're going to be discussing some points related to um, relationship with these beings. Now... People are at different stages of their spiritual uh, development when they come across um, these demonic beings who are known as incubus and succubus. Now, I think if you are already interested in uh, this topic, then you must have done some research and um, understood them uh, as much as you can because without having an understanding going ahead with this kind of uh, a thing uh, can lead to some problems because you'll be expecting something and you'll be getting something else in many cases because we tend to only focus on what we desire right um, and many people approach the incubus and the succubus to be just sex spirits. They call, even call them sex spirits. But let me tell you, I, uh, after my own research and experiences, and I'm not talking about my own personal unique, unique experiences. I'm sorry, I'm shivering a little. It's cold. It's winter time, so you'll understand. Yeah, so... Uh, mm, the thing is that um, the way they are viewed I would say I have a problem with that because uh, they may be built up from the energy of lust but lust itself is wide we tend to uh, understand and experience lust as desire, pleasure, um, you know, want for something. It is an intense force in itself. Uh, and everybody cannot, uh, can neither understand nor deal with this kind of intensity. Now, depending upon what stage you are in and how much you have worked on your spiritual uh, growth and on enhancing your spiritual skills, especially your uh, psychic abilities, you'll be able to uh, enjoy their company more, I would say. Uh, some people, even after getting their incubus and succubus, they don't feel anything initially and even after years they don't feel anything but they know at the back of their mind and they may keep getting messages from the incubus and succubus that they are there now we may have like great expectations that these these things will happen with us you know that a very hot looking uh, uh, man with a six pack or eight pack abs, uh, chiseled and strong and tall and handsome, all that, <laughs> with or without horn and tail, is going to get cozy with me and do things to me. And vice versa, a very hot damsel. Uh, either with human features or demonic features, is going to pin me down and do things to me. But seriously, this goes way beyond this. I would say that incubus and succubus partners teach us love, how to love unconditionally. Because, you see, we are from two different worlds. We are living in the physical. They are living in the spirit world. And in spite of that, they, you know, come from their realm to visit us regularly 
to let us know that they love us, to let us know that we are dear to them, precious to them. Uh, some of them are protective even, and some of them are excellent teachers. They choose to be our spirit guides, our mentors, uh, which is the case with me. Uh, initially, it'll always start like that, you know. You, you will be having those sexual feelings, thoughts. Uh, and because of religious and social taboos, you know, you tend to feel, um, especially if you're coming from a very religious background, you start feeling guilty that you're doing something wrong. But um, these beings, they open your mind, they open your eyes to a more clearer understanding of what exactly is this energy of lust, this energy of sex, this energy um, that, you f that you feel, uh, you know, building up inside of you. Um, sex is like death. You cannot, you cannot make love if you let your ego come in the way. You have to die. You have to die to the world. You have to die. Your identity has to die. Then only you'll be able to merge with your partner. If it happens with a human partner, <laughs> then that's a dream come true. If it doesn't, then you know why you're seeking an incubus and a succubus. People have different reasons to seek an incubus and a succubus. I never thought that I would be doing this one day. But I think I was destined. And <laughs> what is happening is happening because it was meant to be. I'm sorry for the long pause. I normally make my videos pretty late at night. After 12. It is also known as a witching hour. So I'm making this video during the witching hour. So I may take some pauses and yawn every now and then. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> um, but see, whenever I'm talking about this topic, you know, uh, this is this, this. I'm in a relaxed state. Uh, they're touching me. Um, I feel the presence of my incubus partners as well as Asmodee. Asmodee has been with me for quite some time now. <laughs> Normally I am found in Belial's energy, uh, but Asmode is with me and I'm so grateful to him because when Asmode is there with me, he really calms me down, he takes care of me and I'm more relaxed. Belial, however, is a force that is, it creates a lot of turmoil inside of you, anxiety, your heart races, you're supremely excited all the time. And you keep on getting hard on yourself and push yourself to excellence, to work hard, to get things done. Again, guys, I am going back to this big guy, Belial. Can you just stop it for a while? I'm talking about incubus and succubus today. I'm not going to talk about you. Anyway, getting back. Uh, I'm going to tell you about how the touches feel and where exactly the touch is taking place. Right now I'm being touched uh, on the left hand side, uh, my stomach area, my thighs, the back of my head, my face, mm, yeah. So um, the touch that you feel, it doesn't happen on the top layer of your skin. You don't feel it on your skin. You feel this touch. Uh, that your demonic partners, uh, when, when your demonic partners touch you, when your incubus and succubus partners touch you, you feel it under the surface of the skin. And it spreads very beautifully. Like it has a center and then it spreads. It feels beautiful. You feel pleasure. You feel arousal. Sometimes you feel love lot of love, sometimes tears can also come, depends from person to person. Sometimes you just feel affection, love, warmth. Sometimes the touch is caring, sometimes, sometimes the touch is very sexual. 
uh, just like it happens with a human partner. Many people are able to feel them hug or come over them. Initially, I remember when I got my incubus partner, the first incubus partner, uh, he still does that, but not very much. He was exploring everything, but still he was careful. He was well-mannered, he was careful. People talk about house rules, like when you have incubus and succubus partners, you must set house rules. Now that again depends. If you strongly feel you should do it, do it. I never felt the need to do it. It was chill. It was fine. We were comfortable with each other's company. A couple of things happened happened with me, which you may call uh, supernatural or paranormal, like uh, my cupboards opening up, the doors of my cupboards opening up while I'm working in the kitchen. Then there is a tap in my kitchen. It never works. It just doesn't work. There's no water coming from it. No sound, nothing. A kind of gushing sound like water is about to come out of the tap. That started happening. That was my incubus partner telling me that he's from the element of water and his realm. Uh, he was he, he was informing me that, he, he, that he's connected to water. Okay. Uh, later on, I came to know that his element predominantly is water. So... And he also used to put a lot of emphasis not to waste water, um, you know. So I understood that why there was emphasis on water. Uh, then some more things happened, like I felt somebody sitting on my bed. I very clearly felt somebody sitting beside me. He even made me sit on his lap which was very clear. I could feel somebody's lap. And he made me sit on his lap. It was very playful, very, very affectionate and loving. And he loves to watch movies while I have popcorn. And I think he likes the taste and the smell of popcorn. He, he likes to uh, maybe taste it through me when I'm having popcorn and watching movies. This is something that we do together. Another thing is reading books, listening to music, helping me do my meditation and visualizations, uh, cleansing of my uh, cleansing of my energy, cleansing of my aura. He really helps me with that. Bo both my incub incubus partners, they help me with that because the basic energy of my first incubus partner is healing. He's into healing. So your succubus or incubus partner could be gifted with something else. They could be teaching you something else. So learn these things about them. Basically get to know them. And when you feel the touch, next time when you feel the touch, observe that the touch is happening beneath the layer of the skin. Not over the skin. And it's beautifully spreading. It feels beautiful, guys. The only thing I miss is a complete hug. Uh, the feel of kiss. I, I feel it, but... <laughs> there's uh, yeah the flesh and the blood is missing but i i want to tell i want to say it i really i'm so grateful to my incubus one and incubus two they are such sweethearts they are so well mannered they are gentle my first incubus partner well he is much much younger uh, so he has sometimes shown uh, his sadness, his grumpiness, his even his anger, but he has always taken care not to go too far. He has been very nice to take care of the house rules, even when I was very chilled out. I'm a very chilled out person. I would not like to tell you what to do, what not to do. I would wait for you to understand it. So he kept the respect intact between us. I'm openly thanking him for that. Now, you need to get to know your incubus and succubus. Okay, and it's better if if you're trying the letter of t intent technique or you're requesting one of the succubus queens or even Lord Asmode to give you uh, an incubus or succubus. You must specify what all qualities you want in them and what you don't want. Focus on what you want 
and state it very clearly. Don't always go for the physical attributes as they are shapeshifters. You know, <laughs> your succubus can look like Angelina Jolie if she wants. So don't worry about that. Um, you, you just have to focus on the qualities that you want. And if there is something specific that you want to learn or you need some specific area that you want help in, focus on that. And just like human personalities, these guys and girls, they have their distinct personalities. You cannot put all the, you know, all, all, all these uh, incubus and succubus uh, beings into one basket. It's not going to work like that. Also, don't have unrealistic and great many expectations. Be patient with yourself, with them. Give efforts from your side to communicate with them. Learn. Engage in your spiritual practices. Do not give up if you're not able to sense them, if you're not able to hear them. See, if you, don't, if you want to hear them, you need to work on your clear audience. If you want to feel them, you need to work on your clear sensions. If you want to see them, you need to work on, on your clairvoyance. And many people expect that they would see apparitions or uh, they would be able to see them like physically. Now let me tell you, physical uh, manifestation is a bit difficult because it takes up a lot of energy for them to manifest in the physical. It's, it doesn't happen like it happens in Hollywood movies. And all of us are guilty of enjoying these Hollywood horror movies where demons are portrayed as horrible, filthy beings, which they are absolutely not. I'm sorry, I'm feeling very angry right now because these guys and girls, they have really taken care of me. They have really been by my side. So yes, I have strong feelings for them and I respect them and I love them. So if you're coming from that Hollywood mentality, please try to work on it. You have to give up fear because when you walk this path with demons, demons and fear, they don't go hand in hand. You have to give it up. Work slowly. Let them know. Oh, you know, if you feel uncomfortable at any point, let them know that you're feeling it. Seek their help. Seek their protection. They have no problem in doing that. But yes, with demons, be very particular what you're saying, what you're asking for, what you're wishing for. And be clear. Be clear. Otherwise, you'll be given some very hard lessons. Okay? That you may not like at all. Coming back again to Incubus and Succubus, love them. They are coming to you for love. I'm talking in this video about people who want to have relationships with these beings, not one night stands. I cannot really feel how it feels to be in a casual relationship because I can't do it. It's not my thing. I'm not judging anybody here. If that's what you do, it's up to you. Uh, but you have to take the responsibility of everything. Now, if you, uh, you know, make love with the succubus, you invite her, and then she sticks around, and then she says that, no, I have feelings for you. I want to stay. You should know what you want to do. Banishing or accepting her. That's what I'm telling you. Don't play around. These beings are not to play with. Now, there are some incubus and succubuses out there in the astral. They are different. They are not demonic. There are also incubus and succubus uh, from spiritual realms who are not demonic. I don't know them. I have not encountered them, so I can't speak for them. I am talking about demonic babes and dudes. <laughs> demonic incubus and succubus. They are very emotional very passionate 
very loving and they care for their partners okay and if you have some fears associated with them please address it right at the start before anything starts happening that you find ugly okay they may not try to scare you but some things may happen in your house that can scare other family members they're not trying to scare you they're just exploring around tell it very clearly that you're not to appear or you know try to contact any other family member unless i you take like you ask me you discuss it with me don't try to do anything that can scare anybody else in many cases they'll be taking care of it but in some cases they may not they are coming from another world there may be some of them who have never experienced a human uh, how the humans are what is their way of life so they they would want to know everything so things may start happening that you don't like that you don't expect just be clear with these guys and girls that's it in 99% cases incubus and succubus partners who have a committed relationship with you um which you have requested for they will be actually be very protective about your family members about your children even about your human partner if you specify it that listen i'm i'm having a human partner uh in the beginning and uh i'm going to stay with this human partner i mean you could have many reasons like maybe things are not clicking with your human partner but you you have to stay it's just a duty that you're fulfilling and your real love is your incubus or succubus maybe you didn't find a human partner for yourself all your life that's why you are having a, an incubus or succubus it is perfectly all right don't blame yourself everybody's life is not the same many people who are very deserving of love and care they don't get it they are the nicest of people but they don't get it i can understand it and i respect your journey if you've gone through it and i totally totally feel it for you but 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 you're dealing with beings with feelings with intelligence with understanding consider them to be just like a human partner talk to them discuss things with them ask them like you know when you get to know about their personality whether they are talkative or not very talkative whether they are silent or uh, uh they are kind of dominant or they are very sweet and calm or they are kind of uh, full of energy when you get to know all these things about them talk to them get to know about their world their life what do they do i ask my incubus partner how was your day sometimes he would just come to check like what am i doing what am i cooking today how was my day he doesn't speak with words he shows me and because i have uh, my psychic abilities enhanced i have worked on them over the years i can sense what he's trying to say so what he's saying translates into words and comes to me he shows where he's standing and i see his exact form like i have shown you people he normally stands to my left whether he's standing beside me or behind me so you have to know these little little things then there are very interesting things that you can do with your partners you can go on vacations you can go on dates you can have a home date there are so many various possibilities that you can do i'll be discussing those interesting things in another video for now i'm just signing off stay connected keep watching my videos do like share and subscribe as it motivates me a lot guys and thank you so much to all my subscribers i love you all for your constant support for the love that you've shown for my work it really fills me up with spirit to bring you more for a personalized tarot reading channeling session and spiritual coaching with me contact me via mail adara bellamore at gmail dot com it's given in the description box enjoy yourself